Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I've had some really great responses from you about my water marbling videos so I really hope you're enjoying watching them as much as I enjoy making them. So I'm going to do a rainbow water marble using these China Glaze Electric Nights collection on my nails so if you're interested then just stay tuned. Now I've chosen to do mine over a white gel polish today, which is gel 2, but of course you can just use a regular white nail polish for your base. And then once the water marble has totally dried, I'm going to go in with the gel 2 extreme shine top coat. Now I've just wanted to point out that I've only ever tested this on my nails. I am a nail technician, but I don't think I would do this on my clients. I would just use regular nail polish and nail polish top coat. Okay, so here I'm just showing you how I tape off my nails to minimize cleanup. So I go across the top first and wrap around, and then I'm going to be applying it to the sides, just like this, and this really, really helps with um, minimizing cleanup afterwards. So I'm just applying the drops here in rainbow order and I'm just spreading out the first drop slightly and then you just continue with your bullseye until you're happy with how many rings you've created. Okay, so the pink on here looks really grainy, so I actually decided to leave it out of the future fingers that I did, just in case you were wondering where the pink one went. Now after each drag I do wipe my cocktail stick off on a paper towel so apologies if the cup seems to be jigging around but that's, that's what I'm doing and that's what's making it do that.
So here's how I take the tape off and I just use a pair of manicure scissors to cut up the back and then it should just peel easily off. I'll do this really gently so you don't dent your hard work with your mortar marble. And then I go in with a flat brush, this is just a flat concealer brush and dip it in some acetone and then clean up around the edges and wait for it to totally dry before you put your top coat on. Okay, so here is the finished design and I think they came out really well. I'm really pleased how they turned out. They are much more neon in real life than they're coming across on camera. So I'll have pictures for you on my Facebook and my Instagram. So go and check that out guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.